what a lot of churches stream, a lot of people that are teaching things stream, and people are using text a lot. This is outside of the typical lower thirds or your name and your title stuff, but it's text in the video. And I think a lot of people make a mistake when using text because they act like their video screen is like a sheet of paper. And I want to kind of go through some things with you as far as text is concerned and what I think are some um, good fonts to use and good ways to use text. So let's get at it. Yeah, I always want to show you things that I'm doing in Keynote because that's the major thing that I do. And that little animation was done in Keynote. I'll show you all how to make that later. But let's talk about using text in your video, right? And like I said, a lot of people make the mistake of acting like their video screen is like a sheet of paper. And when you read books and forms and things like that, we typically use different fonts for that than we use in video. And I want to tell you about a couple of things as it relates to fonts that will help you out when I start talking a little deeper about it. So first, there's basically two types of fonts, generally. There's the serif font and there's the sans serif font. But I want to talk to you about a serif font first. Essentially, serif fonts have feet on them, if you want to call them that. See that little platform at the bottom of the text? That's called a serif. And in graphic design, well, we call those feet, right? And serif fonts are great for reading text on paper and things like that. Typically, serif fonts have a thick and a thin. Um, some of them kind of go variant in their shape as the, as the font comes out. Now, sans serif basically means no feet. Sans, no serif feet so no feet and this is a sans serif font that's on the screen right now they typically are bolder all one thickness um, and have kind of a, a solid look now serif fonts are fine if you're doing titles and they're big and typically they're easier to read because they're big but when you start using them for bullet points in your video and um, text at the bottom of the screen, sound, uh, song lyrics, tickers, things like that. You want to go with a sans serif font because they're typically easier to read at small sizes. And a lot of people watch our videos on mobile devices. I'm not sure how many of you that are watching me right now are watching this on the desktop versus a mobile device. But if I did this serif font at a you know typical size that's used for a lower third, and if I did this sans serif font, come on, drag out, okay. You can see how one of them is easier to read, right? Um, because the thick and thins make it hard to read in video, right? And whenever I do most of my logo graphics or my bug graphics, like my Bradley teaches and different things like that, I typically do them in a sans serif font. And that's what you really wanna use unless you're doing titles. The bigger the font, use a serif for style and things like that. The smaller the font and the more text there is, use a sans serif font. And here's a list of some great sans serif fonts. Um, many of these come standard on the uh, Apple system, which is, you know, the home of Ecamm because it's a Mac only product. And so you can get a lot of these fonts. All the fonts you see listed here are actually free fonts. Um, there are several others, but you want to use a sans serif font when doing things like that, um, especially when you're using blocks of text. Um, you know, and I, like I said, a lot of churches use it for song lyrics, scripture, uh, lower thirds. You want to stick with sans serif fonts. Um, and I wanted to kind of help you guys with that because I'll be doing 
another video soon about doing um, bugs, what I call bugs, which is the Bradley teacher's icon. That's considered a bug in the video world. Um, but I'll just show you how to do bugs and icons and things of that nature. I always use, uh, probably with, without exception, I use sans serif fonts. And I'll be teaching you guys how to make bugs of your logos and icons and things like that. Something that's easily readable on multiple size devices. Because I think what, what happens, a lot of people, they're used to, you know, using Word and um, other text editors. And typically you use Garamond and, um, not Arial, but Garamond, Palatino, things like that. Fonts that are typically used for text documents that does not translate well in video. It's just not the same instrument of showing content. So you want to make sure you use sans serif fonts. Now, I'll spend a little bit of time to talk to you real quick about your logos and graphics that you use. I am seeing a lot of logos and I'm not going to call people out and kind of trash your, your artwork that you're using, but I'm seeing a lot of art and graphics and logos that were directly probably brought from your business cards or somebody did you a JPEG or you might have typed it out in Word and done a screen capture and there's thick and thins and there's serifs on it and all kinds of stuff that does not translate in video that it cannot be seen well on mobile devices it is okay to do a logo bug or an icon that is strong and bold and use impact or Futura or Arial fonts. That's just for your video. Make a video bug that's just for your video. Um, you know, use a speech bubble and put your words inside of it in a bold font and let that be your bug. So I'm gonna do a whole class on just, or teach a little session about doing video bugs and I'm going to take you through Keynote which is what I've been using as kind of the default graphics program I use the higher end stuff Photoshop Illustrator um, and all this other stuff but I wanted to show you how to use the simple software of Keynote which is also free to do your graphics and it's actually kind of taken me through some some new things too because I have to kind of back off of all um, some of the crutches that the higher end software gives me and try to figure out how to do that with more simple software like Keynote. Like that animation that you saw, my intro animation, that was done in Keynote. Everything except for my Memoji head, all that was created in Keynote. The Bradley Teachers icon that you see right here, that was all done in Keynote. So Keynote will be can be great for making your little bugs, your lower thirds, your titling, some animations, some uh, sidebar animations, and I will show you guys how to do all that stuff. But at its core, you got to get some of these core things down. The rule of thirds that I talked about, and I have a video about that. Um, setting up your keynote so it can be used as a graphics creation engine. I did a video about that. This video is very important just to get an understanding of fonts and what you should or shouldn't use in your video. The smaller it's going to be, it should be sans serif. Sans mean no, no feet. Serif means those little feet at the bottom. So that's the definition of those. So kind of look at the, at the graphics that you're using. Look at the text that you're using and just change some of your text to sans serif fonts and see how they look and see how they're easier to read uh, on the screen. Also, look at the graphics that you have and like if you're using, you know, my name is Bradley, right? And so I'm using Bradley, but I'm using it in a Times New Roman font that's thick and thin. And then I make it the size of this icon over here and you can't read it or it disappears on the screen or I'm using gradients in it and beveled edges and all this other stuff. You want to have strong, bold, iconic uh, style graphics. And I'll work with you guys on how to do those. I actually want to do a um, help me with my graphics section uh, session. So 
if you have graphics that you're using right now, your logo, some text on the screen, things like that, do a screen capture of your video screen with your graphics on it and where they're placed and um, private message me, DM me, put it in a comment here in this video or other videos that I made. And I want to go through that and show you guys how to improve that and how to make your graphics stronger. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you guys go for now. I just want to kind of see who was up late and I just had a, you know, an itch to uh, teach something real quick. I'm kind of up doing some other work and said, Hey, how about I teach a quick session on, um, the proper text to use in your video. So until next time, I am Bradley Denson, Alana's Pawpaw. Be blessed, be free. Y'all have a good night.